Welcome to the Essence of Emerald. You know, today I'm going to talk about small fish. You know, guppies and goldfish. No, no. You see, when I was growing up in Fall River, it's Massachusetts, that is, I used to love to fish, and I still love to fish. But growing up in Fall River, being very, you know, next door to New Bedford and Newport, Rhode Island, some of the busiest fishing ports on the East Coast, and now living in New Orleans, going to the fishing camps, going down there to Venice and fishing for redfish and for trout. My brother-in-law, Mike, oh boy, I'll tell you. Or going out there and catching them big fish in the Gulf, and yellowfin tuna and wahoo and lemonfish and cobia. Well, today is small fish, all types of small fish. And there are a lot of benefits of cooking fish whole. There are certain things that obviously that you have to uh, follow, like scaling and gutting and cleaning before you cook them. And some of the best and simplest ways to cook whole little fish is just on the grill. Now, you may always think, you know, you're probably one of those husband, boyfriend, your mother comes home with all those fish. What do I do with them? Oh, my God, geez, I don't know. Call the neighbor. Let's give them away. Some of the most simplest, simplest fish. And I'm going to show you a couple of tips, and then we're going to start and begin to grill one of my favorite fish. My favorite fish right here, the speckled trout. That's right, the speckled trout. Now, obviously, if you're catching these fish, you don't have to worry about the color of the eyes or the inside of the gills or how firm it is, hopefully that it's not slimy, because you just caught them little buggers and brought them home. But if you're buying little fish, you're going to do a little simple dinner party with whole grilled little fish in the backyard or in the kitchen, well, you might want to look for some of those those little qualities of the eyes and the gills and the, the smell and the feel and texture. Let me show you some of my little favorite fish beside the speckled trout. This is a little striped bass, which there are a lot of striped bass these days that are being farm raised in various states like Texas and Mississippi along the East Coast as well. And uh, a little smelt. I love smelts and used to eat a little smelt particularly in the spring when they run in Michigan and do a little fried, fried smelts. And we used to have fried smelt back there in, in Fall River. And one of the old Bayou classics right here, the, the old catfish, little catfish right here. You just clean him and gut him up real good and fry him up whole, you know, for a little fried catfish. And uh, my good friend Rod Mitchell up there in Maine, we buy a lot of fish from, uh, really uh, excellent excellent fish sauce and scallops, but one of my favorites that we get from Rod is a little black sea bass that runs off the coast of Maine and really, really a quite delicious fish. And there are a lot of snappers, you know, in the snapper family. Uh, there's all sorts of them around, but this is a typical example right here. You can see how it's lighter in skin and texture and is known sometimes as the American snapper, a very prominent and uh, very popular on the West Coast, whereas this here is one of my favorite gulf fish, which is the red snapper. Uh, you can see the difference in both of those. And then a childhood memory back in Fall River with my mom, Hilda, when we used to have these little, little mackerels or little sardines, and you could just rub them with oil and just grill them we used to just eat them in French bread. Oh, God, just really delicious. But let me show you a little bit technique of, I'm going to take one of our great old speckled trouts here, OK? And you catch these things. The thing that you want to do is you want to start from the belly. And you want to open up the belly here. And there's an even bone. And that's what you really want to clean out. That's where the intestines are, et cetera, that you want to just sort of clean, clean that out a little bit. And the thing with speckled trout is that you don't really need to, uh, to really scale much of them. They don't really have much scales. But an easy way to do it, too, is just right under the sink. You just sort of run the water, and with your knife, you can sort of scrape back and forth. And uh, 
The other thing that you may want to consider when you're grilling whole fish, little technique, you can marinate them all kinds of different ways overnight, a few hours. One of the things I like to do is from the back of the fish, if I'm going to grill them whole, right from by where the head is, I find that center bone and make a little incision. And I like to just make a little incision down a little bit from the fish, just like we did when we had to clean when we had to clean the, uh, the intestines. You see, I just have that like that. Now you can get really creative and you can really just open this thing up and it'll make a little pocket. And then you can make this great little stuffing of your choice and you stuff that fish in there and season it and you can either grill it that way or you can even roast them in the oven for another little tip. But grilling these whole little fish you want to sort of just score them just a little bit like I'm doing. I'm not cutting deep. I'm just scoring them. You see that? I'm just making just a little slit. And that way the fish doesn't buckle. And uh, I got my grill on pretty, pretty hot. And we're going to oil our fish. Just like that. And uh, I'm just going to use simply right now just a little salt and uh, just some simple, simple pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start just grilling our fish whole. And then what we're going to do is we're going to season the other side of the fish and guess what when we come back we're gonna finish grilling this fish and then I'm gonna make a great slaw you know one of those great slaws stay with me on the essence of emerald we'll be right back Just nothing like grilling whole fish. Welcome back. I'm Emeril Lagasse. Thanks for staying with us on the Essence of Emeril. And we're grilling fish today. That's right. Now that we've got, look at just what salt and pepper and that little crust. You see how that little crust is forming there? Woo, boy. I'll tell you. Now, what are we going to do to go with that? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We get that fish on the grill and we're cooking it. We're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep going back and working that fish, but what we're going to do right now is make a little winter root slaw. Hey, you know, find whatever kind of those winter root vegetables that you like. You could use all sorts of things. I'm going to use some celery root. We use a lot of celery root at the restaurant. I really love it. And you want to talk about a great combination. And then I have a little julienne of parsnips. And then, of course, I've got a little julienne of carrot. You can use cabbage, you can use whatever you like. What I'm going to use, I've got a little bit of tarragon, you can use chervil, you can use whatever you like. I'm going to use a little of that. And then I also have a little bit of beautiful little parsley and little fine herbs. And then I have a little bit of green onion. And then I've got some walnuts. And what I've done with these walnuts is I just sort of roasted them, and I just sort of broke them up in little pieces. You can use pecans, almonds. You can use what you like. You get it really good and nutty. And uh, walnut oil. Mmm. Boy, there's nothing like walnut oil. A little walnut oil vinaigrette with a little blue cheese, some greens. Ah, a little winter root vegetable slaw made with walnut oil. Watch this. We're going to take some walnut oil. This is some powerful stuff. We'll take a little bit of walnut oil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little salt. We're going to give it some fresh pepper. Let's go check on our fish, shall we? Look at that beautiful crust. The fish is cooking. 
what we're going to do is we're going to check him on that side. Oh, he's looking fantastic. Okay. And we're going to finish cooking him. Let me show you something here. You see that little, that little slit that we did there? You see what, how, what that's doing? It's really cooking the fish really good and evenly. So that way we got the middle of the fish cooking just like the other side of the fish. Perfect. Back to our root vegetable slaw. I added some salt and pepper. And then I have, this is a little apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you like. This is a little apple cider vinegar. And maybe you just want to put a little apples in here. That would be perfect. But we're going to give this a little toss right now. And then we're going to taste it and see what, uh, what that is like. A little different type type of slaw, I mean, than just basic cabbage or lettuces. Really, really uh, wonderful combination. And uh, you think about it, I mean, you know, a little grilled fish, I mean, simply grilled to perfection. You know, maybe we want to just add a little bit of lemon or a little bit of lime. Hey, whatever turns you on, you know? Let's see what we got here. Hmm. That vinegar is pretty strong, it's kind of overpowering right now the walnut oil. So we'll add a little bit more. I also think it needs just a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Nothing like fresh ground pepper. And we'll give that a quick little toss. Look how beautiful that is. And with the tarragon or the chervil that you use in there and the walnuts and whew, look how light and delicious. Mmm, mmm. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Our little plate. What we're going to do is we're going to put us down a little bed of this wonderful, delicious root vegetable slaw. Doesn't that look great? Mm-hmm. All the chopped walnuts in there. Now, you guys know that we just can't do anything, leave it alone, so. I like to just, you know, you got, we got so much wonderful little color here. I mean, um, and so simple. Beautiful. Now, now what we're going to do is this. You can just take your fish whole, okay? You can take your fish whole and just serve it just like that. But some people also get offended by the bones. Oh, you got offended by the bones. Well, we're going to take the bones out right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Remember that also that little slit that we did earlier, right? You just simply stick a knife. Find that center bone. You take your knife. And you get back on the other side just like that. Find that center bone like that. Okay? Look at that. That's what we call essence because it's perfectly cooked. That's right. Look at that. You know what? I'm seriously thinking about doing this professionally. I've decided. You just set that right there on that root vegetable slaw. Hey, take a couple of your lemons, jazz it up a little bit. We're having fun, and I'm going to have even a lot more fun because I'm going to eat this thing. And when we come back, I'm going to show you a great fried fish, so stay with me. We'll be right back. And if you don't want to grill your fish, got another idea for you. You can always deep fry them. But fry it whole. And uh, add a little hot potato salad as a little side dish, a little dish with it. Very simple. Got these little fishes here. A little, little uh, coho trout. We got these I love. Hilda, I hope you're watching out there because, uh, Mom, here we go. 
going to do some seasoned flour. Hey, the flour's going to taste good, too. And so does the fish. And watch how simple this is. We take these little fish in the seasoned flour. What do you think? Three of them? Okay. And then the thing is, is once you dredge them in this flour like that, and then you can just sort of dredge them in a little, a little egg wash, and get them dipped in that egg wash like that, and then make them really good and crunchy. Dip them really good in there like that, you see? And then we'll put them back in the flour. Okay, just like that, and we get them on, and we'll dip them right back inside the flour. And uh, meanwhile, on the stove, I've got some hot, hot oil, about 350 degrees, 75. We're going to just crisp these guys up. So you get them really good and dredge. You've got to dredge them really good and no moisture. You just sort of, careful now, you just sort of put them right inside like that. Now, the oil's real hot, you know. They're going to fry up pretty quick. So uh, you want to keep that in mind. We're going to keep an eye on those little fish guys. And uh, basically, then what we're going to do is I've got some, I've got some potatoes, some uh, little red potatoes that I blanched up, I boiled up. Now, watch this little fish here, guys. Look. We're just going to flip them over. See that? Woo! Little fried sardines. Ho, ho, Hilda, I hope you're watching, baby. OK, look, some of those boiled potatoes. And we're going to give them a little seasoning as well. And I got some crispy bacon that I just rendered down with a little bit of green onions. Give me some chopped herbs that we're going to put in there real fresh, whatever you might have available. And we're going to put a little drizzle of olive oil And then what we're going to do now, before we do that and mix it, we're going to finish that. Let's come back. I told you this fish is going to really, really take no time at all, right? So we're going to just take them right there. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these guys. Oh, boy, look at that. Little crispy, little crispy fried sardines. <whistles> boy, I tell you, I think my friends in Fall River are getting a little jealous right now. Or well, my friends down there in Louisiana wishing they had some of these. All right. New potatoes. Fork tender, half, quarter, depending on the size. Little chopped green onion. Some chopped fresh herbs. Parsley, little cilantro, whatever you have. And then I drizzled with olive oil. I've got some crispy bacon in there. And then once you tie all of the, those ingredients in, and toss them around. This is balsamic vinegar. That's right, balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is that delicious vinegar that's been aged in those oak barrels. They, they, they start from the big barrels, then the smaller barrels, and the smaller barrels, and the smaller barrels. I made a little tartar sauce, just a little emulsion with a little pickle or pickle relish and some chopped peppers and a little bit of chervil inside of there. Very, very simple. I'm going to add a little bit of that tartar sauce right in the center of my plate. We'll come back to that, take a little bit of that seasoning. And while I got that seasoning in my hand, we're also going to go back and just season our little crispy sardines. And uh, dredge a little bit of our lemon. Just a couple of little lemon slices. And then we'll taste our potato salad. Mm. And then what we can do is then we can just put little clusters of our delicious potato salad just like this. As much as you like, I love potato salad. And then what I like to do is just sort of lay my little fish, just sort of going in these delicious crispy sardines. You see that? And then we may want to put just a little bit more tartar sauce in the center like that. And boy, so simple, but yet so delicious. Boy, I'll tell you, we grilled our fish. And you can marinate them the way that you like. We grilled them 
You can marinate them in oil and different vinegars, different marinades, and you grill them. Remember, the little slits, crispy sardines with potato salad. What can I say? I'm Emeril Lagasse. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you the next time here on The Essence of Emeril. See you.